segment two. Now, last week I had the privilege of being at the eVapes premium juice launch and I got a bottle of number 22 which they're saying is their dessert vape and I have absolutely been stuck on this and so have several other people that I know um, Dylan Birch really likes this stuff um, Caitlin Tiny Vapor from Mod Envy is so obsessed with it that she blasted through one of these bottles in a week and apparently Tucker delivered one from David Kappel for her complete with love note and all so that's pretty good flavor when someone can go through one of these bottles in a week like that now that's exactly what I happen to have in my Nimbus at the moment and you guys have already seen me take a rip on the first segment this stuff is just phenomenal flavor Very good vapor production, um, absolutely wonderful, wonderful flavor. You get this on a high heat dripping Addy and them undertones of raspberry have just completely roped me in on this flavor. I'm loving it. Um, for the last week, aside from one day at work when I took some of my Silver Fox from uh, Just Vapes with me, um, this is all I've been vaping is the e-vape stuff that I got earlier this week. Um, I got lucky and actually won the number 47. And the number 47, um, as soon as I tasted it, the first thing that I thought of was a juice that Brian Ferris over here at the Vapor Lounge makes uh, called 1849. It is very similar it is by no means a clone of that particular juice because you can definitely taste the difference and know that they're definitely two entities. But the closest thing that I can compare it to is the 1849. And it's such a good flavor. I gave Brian some over at the Vapor Lounge. And he took a couple of mils of it home and he vaped it up all in one night. So, probably going to have to give him a couple more mils of it, although he was whining and crying because I run 24 milligrams nicotine instead of a lower nicotine level like he likes. But, considering I'm hooking him up, I'm probably sure he won't complain too much. The other two flavors that I got my hands on, courtesy of the folks over at eVapes, is Fancy, the Clouderita. Any of you guys that like margaritas... Yeah, you're going to have to try this one. I, I, I could see myself going out for Mexican food over at the local Mexican restaurant, having a margarita with my dinner, and vaping on some Clouderita to go with it. This stuff just absolutely blows your mind um, how good the flavor is. It's spot on. I mean, you can almost taste the salt. And I actually saw a review that someone put on the fancy page where they're talking about wishing they could figure out a way to salt their drip tip because it's so close. Um, really, really good vapor production off of the Cloud Rita. Um, one of the cool things, if you do order directly from Fancy, um, they give you options on the cloud level where you can get normal, heavy, or super cloud. So... By getting the super cloud, they punch up the VG ratio, which really knocks the uh, cloudiness into stratospheric levels. Let me go ahead and unscrew this Nimbus and grab my Igo L because I've been running Lima's Key and Cloud Rita out of this one, so the flavor won't be too far off. sure I don't need to adjust it. No, nope, it's hitting. Throw a few drops in here.
like I said, guys, very, very nice vapor production. And like I said, with the king, the unscrewing and screwing of things and taking things apart, you can see how easy it is for that screw to unadjust. Um, I wouldn't go so far as to say go and break out the pliers or wrenches or anything like that because you do want that thing to be movable just in case you need to adjust it up and down a little bit. But plain and simple, the, the adjustments you're going to be making are going to be in those top caps to get back to what I was saying in the first segment. But the Cloud Arita, just absolutely wonderful, wonderful flavor. And the fourth flavor that I happen to have gotten my hands on is another one that me and Dylan, because I can say with everybody that I've mentioned, great minds really do think alike. Um, I've got the JD Vapor, Lime is Key, and I know Dylan has been posting on Facebook quite a bit about vaping this one up, and this is a spot on Key Lime Pie. And the JD Vapor is, um, as I understand it, the sister company to Fancy. And the folks at eVapes are the exclusive distributors for Fancy and JD Vapor here in Oklahoma City. So any of you guys that are local here in Oklahoma um, that don't live too far out and don't want to wait for it in the mail, take a drive on over to eVapes. Go see Courtney, go see David, and the rest of the folks over at the eVape shop um, wonderful, wonderful people, because, I, like I said, I was there for the launch party for the Evapes Premium line, for number 47, number 22, and the other flavor that they have, which I can't remember the number off the top of my head, but I can tell you that it is a licorice flavor. I normally don't go for them, but the licorice is subdued in there because there is quite a few flavors and it's just not overpowering to the point that the licorice is going to kill you. I mean, every once in a while I'll break out a little bit of absinthe to drip because you don't want to put absinthe in a plastic tank. Tangent, sorry guys. But um, the, the absinthe flavors will eat up a tank in a New York second. I actually had an X9 tank that absinthe ruined in 24 hours. It's the fastest tank cracker I've ever seen. But um, the JD Vapor Lime is Key, absolutely phenomenal flavor. Matter of fact, you can see how much is out of that bottle there. I've put a really good dent into that one. You can taste the crust even. I mean, just wow. Fancy and JD are outdoing themselves. I can't wait to get my hands on some more Fancy and JD flavors. Um, it was really, really hard to make a choice on which flavors to bring home with me when I was at eVapes last week. So that really says something. Um, and the fact that these four flavors, I really have had a hard time putting them down because I do some uh, mixes on my own. And I have several favorites from the guys over here at Vapor Lounge Chickasha that I always keep on hand. And for me to have basically backed off on of my normal daily vapes to vape these flavors, yeah, guys, these are really, really good flavors. And I am talking to uh, David and Courtney on hoping to get those folks out here to the Chickasha Vape Meet for all my locals. Um, I don't know if they're going to come out or if they're going to be kind enough to throw us some samples or maybe some giveaways for the uh, Chickasha Vape Meet next month. But um, it's in the works, so keep them fingers and toes crossed. And that right there is pretty much going to sum it up for the, this portion of the review. I've got one more segment coming up. I've got a wonderful little surprise that even I didn't expect. And um, then we'll basically go with the uh, vape it or hate it at the end of it. All right, guys? So... One second, we'll be right back with the third segment to finish off the inaugural run of Vapor Hate It. <laughs> 